We get asked quite often if you're able to do simple functions right at the machine. So I want to give a quick example on how to say fly mill apart right at the machine without having to go to cam. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have a fly mill or a tool that we want to use to fly mill the material. Right now we're going to be using our 20 millimeter monoblock tool. Next thing we're going to do is make sure that our vacuum is on, which it is, and set up our workpiece. So we'll come in, press camera, press the center button here to lift up the Z axis, and then drag the screen so that art is in view. Once it's in view, we can hit the draw button here with the drag and we're gonna trace around the outside. Our fly mill command at the machine wants to go off of the center. So we can move our corners around. We can actually move any of these to a different depth if we'd like and we wanna move our blue arrow here. This is gonna find our top surface. And we'll move all of these in a tiny bit and say go. Now you can see the two probes on top is actually going to set the rotation of the part. So if our program is set straight, we can put the part on at an angle and it's gonna rotate our program around the actual rotation of the part. So now to set our origin in the center, you can see that on the screen, puts an origin mark right in the center there. We're gonna hit safe positioning and we're gonna go to half inch above, zero and X, zero and Y, half inch above, and these are absolute coordinates. So now that we're half inch above, we can hit next on the top again, go back to manual operation. And if you look at the processing cycles here, you have drilling, contouring, pockets, face milling, and engraved. So we're gonna press face milling and rectangular face milling. We hit the blue ribbon bar on the top here. It will actually give us the size of our part. So in X, we're 13.5, and in Y, we're at 5.84. What I'm gonna do is in here in X, yes, we're gonna have 13.6 and 5.9. So I usually round up. What's very important is our stroke fast and our stroke slow. Our stroke fast is an incremental rapid down a certain amount from where we currently are. Right now, we're a half inch above the material because we probed. So it's gonna wrap it down 450, leaving us 50 thousandths, which we'll use in our stroke slow to get to the top surface. Our stroke slow is actually our feed. So that's when our feed is gonna start. Below that, you have an allowance. Allowance will use the tool diameter. Step down is if I want to take multiple steps. Finishing is if I want to do a finish pass on the bottom. We're not taking much. We're only going to take 15,000, so there's no need for that. Our step over, we can do a percentage or an amount and we're gonna do 75% here. Angle will let you put it on 90 degree angle or a 30 degree angle, however you'd like to fly mill. You also have an option up top that says one direction or both directions. We're just gonna leave it on both directions at this time. Our RPM is 28,000. And because we're not doing finishing, we're just roughing. We're gonna have 157 and 157 and a half inches and 78.7 .7 inches for the rest. So we'll hit execute. Okay, now it's finished. We know we've gone down 15 thousandths. We can actually come up to the coordinates here. And if we wanted our origin to be on that top surface, we could now call that 0.515. So from where we currently are with the tool, we'd have to go down 0.515 to get to that top surface or that top surface we just milled is now our zero.